What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Bishop RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at a pre-owned unit. So, sometimes you find a jewel, sometimes you find a unit that's not very old, looks really nice, and has a lot of really nice things to like about it. And I think we found one here. So this is a Denali. This is a really, really good looking travel trailer. It's a 2017 model, and again, it is pre-owned. This one has an auto leveling system on it, which in 2017 was kind of rare. So to find one like this, it's actually a pretty cool thing. This is the 287 RE. Let's take a closer look at this. I'll be right back. So first of all, you gotta love that front cap. Very nice painted front cap. Has dual propane cans, power jack on it. Again, this has an auto leveling system on it, which is also really nice. Coming around, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,176 pounds. This is a heavy unit. I would definitely recommend a properly equipped three quarter ton truck or one ton single rear wheel truck. Rides on 15 inch wheels and tires, has a 2,676 pound cargo capacity, and it has twin 5,080 pound axles. So between the two axles, you have 10,160 pounds worth of capacity. You throw about 1,000 pounds on the back of the truck, and you're in pretty good shape. You have the upgraded handles to open up your door here. It is a relatively small pass-through storage area. They also wired your control panel kind of in a way that intrudes down into this space. However, it is really well marked, but I would have put something to kind of cover this up, even though you have 50 amp service, nice pass through, and you have the ASA in command system plus auto leveling. Again, very rare. Now, this may look messy, but it's actually not. This is all pretty well ran and it's a pretty clean setup. It just comes down right here and I wish they would have put something to cover that. Maybe they did originally, but I don't see anything. Coming around, you can see that it has cable-driven slides. You have your city water connection, your tank fill. You have a place for an outside sprayer, plus 50 amp connection here. You have your fresh water connection, as well as your cable and your satellite connections here as well. This is the back of your water heater, your furnace, and this does not have a suspension equalizer on it. Rides on 15 inch tires. This is the back of your refrigerator. And here is the vent for your over stove ventilation. Coming around to the back. This unit has incandescent lights. Up top, all incandescent as well. This side uses a rack and pinion slide. So even though the other side is cable driven, this side is rack and pinion. And it rides on a 10 inch I-beam frame Plus you can see that it has the auto leveling system right there, which is really cool. Again, very, very rare on a travel trailer. Coming around, let's take a look inside of this. This is the 287 RE. Going up the aluminum steps. Check this out. That is a very nice interior. This was considered more of a premium scale travel trailer in 2017. Even though it's three years old, it still feels very modern and new. The darker wood tones, nice countertop space, has the gas electric refrigerator, has a love seat right here that folds out into a bed, and it also has two recliners right there. You can see the detail, some of the cabinetry, how they did it in these higher end travel trailers. Have your fireplace cabinets on each side, plus a lot of cabinets up top. Freestanding dinette with standard style chairs. Taking a look at the bathroom area, you have two entrances into the bathroom. Foot flush porcelain toilet, like how you have about two feet of space in front of it. Because of this radius arched ceiling, you're gonna have a little bit more room in the shower. You could probably be upwards of about 6'3 to fit comfortably in there. They put a little shower curtain rod right here, or at least for some type of a curtain drop down for privacy, I guess, if you wanna keep the pocket door open. You have some space around here. I don't know if you saw earlier, but this unit has a $28,900 price tag on it. You might be able to come off of that a little bit as well. You have a nice little area right here for your clothes to hang. Plus this has the ASA in command system for all your slides, water tank levels, pretty much everything can be seen or controlled from here. 
in the bedroom area, it is fitted with a king size bed, which is also really nice. Plus, uh, you have probably 15 inches of room on that side, about a foot of room on this side. More cabinets above, and this flips up and gives you more storage beneath it. Plus, because that is a relatively deep slide, it gives you about two and a half feet of space here at the end of the bed. Place for your TV, nice cabinet here, and this has a really good size closet space area, which sometimes travel trailers just don't get, especially if you get a king size bed up front. So you have a divider right here, and then you have essentially a duplicate of this on the other side. Overall, though, this is a pretty cool unit. It's definitely, again, on the upper scale side of travel trailers, and this is roughly three years old, so you have to take that into consideration. Of course, understanding what this has been through is going to be important. I couldn't tell you. The previous owner would probably have to be the one that told you. This has a televator system on it as well, so the TV lowers down, so you can see out the window if you want. Flooring, everything still looks up to date. Nothing in here really looks dated. Overall, though, it's a really nice unit. It's definitely one that has probably made somebody happy, and they probably upgraded to something larger or to a fifth wheel, because that's typically what you see. You'll see somebody in a unit like this, they'll spend, you know, three years in it, and then they'll sell it or trade it in for a fifth wheel because they feel that that's what they need. Or they might even downsize if they want to do something a little bit more compact for state parks or national parks or places that might be restrictive in terms of the size of RV you can take with you. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is a little bit different. I don't do a lot of pre-owned models, but I saw this one sitting at the back of the lot, and, you know, it's pretty cool to see what an upscale travel trailer looked like, especially one that wasn't terribly expensive. This one probably had an MSRP in the $55,000 price range. It probably sold in the high 30s, and they're asking $28,900 for it. Again, you might be able to talk them down off of that a little bit. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, I'd appreciate it if you took a moment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you again very soon.